Richie, don't, you understand don't forget to take your bicycle. You need a bicycle. It's written on the sleep. You do have one. A bicycle? I do have one. Only it's broke. At the end of the week, I pick it up. Hey, no, you need it this morning. It's on the sleep there. But I'll walk for a while. I'll be doing the work. It's the same thing. Look, Richie, it calls for you to have a bicycle or I give the job to somebody else. If you're only going to see one film this week, I would send you to The Bicycle Thief. Yes, it's 60 years old. Yes, it's in Italian with English subtitles. But this is an extraordinary experience. When this film came out in 1949, it was at the cutting edge of a revolution in film, a revolution called neorealism. These films were shot on real locations, using non-professional actors, using available light. This may sound like a typical Sundance film today, but in 1949, this was nothing less than revolutionary. Go ahead. You two get going and see what you can find. Let's go. Come on. Bruno, look hard. We get yes. back. We celebrate. Come on. Antonio, come on. Get out. How's this? Right. No, no, that's not the right kind. Look at each one. Uh, go on, kid, get out of here. When this film came out, critics around the world just couldn't praise it highly enough. It got exceptional reviews. But in the intervening years, like many masterpieces, people just pay lip service to it. They don't necessarily see it again. They say, oh, yeah, I saw that in college. It was great, but I don't need to see it again. The Bicycle Thief is a film you need to see again. It's exceptionally moving. It's a film that will really tear your heart out. It's a wonderful experience. And to see it again on the big screen is a chance that shouldn't be missed. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.